four, five. All right, so we got the limbs. Both the limbs come out right here. Two sets of limbs. I got a bunch of glue we gotta get cleaned up. But today, what we're gonna do now, now that we've got these limbs out, we're gonna work, work on the riser and getting that prepped. So I'm gonna put some accent stripes in the riser and then we're gonna get the limbs cleaned up. Not sure how far this video is gonna take it, but that's the steps we're gonna take next. So we're gonna show you what we're doing. So hit that like and subscribe and stay tuned. So this, what you see here is what came with the kit. I did order some accent stripes. So I've got, I think, I'm not sure if this is maple or what this is. Um, I have to go back and look at the list. A sheet of black phenolic, which is gonna have to be cut. And then the riser block right here, okay? So the idea with this riser block is what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna cut this in half, okay? And then I'm gonna use these uh, accent stripes with the black phenolic. And in addition, I had a piece of, of this wood and i if i'm not mistaken that's coco below i think or coco below i don't know how you say it but uh i've had it for quite some time i was using it on another product and i had a piece i thought hey that'd be kind of cool so i'm gonna glue that in the middle of this too so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna put this together real quick and show you kind of an idea what i'm talking about so to give you an idea kind of see what i'm doing here i'm gonna laminate all this together after i cut the riser block and basically i have a, a black stripe like a light stripe Piece of this, thicker piece of this uh, cocoa below, a white stripe, and there'll be another black stripe over here. And once that's all laminated into the riser, then we'll be ready to do the actual work according to the instructions on the riser. So just to try to add a little flair to it, haven't done this before, so we're just gonna give it a shot. And first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and trim some of these pieces here. I'm gonna trim these, these pieces to size are a little bit longer. And the reason I'm gonna do that is I might use this lighter wood also for the tip overlays. So I might use some of the white stuff here in the tip overlay. And then I might have some black phenolic uh, excess to use as well. So I'm going to cut this to size. So that's for something to cut everything to size. The size is block. And then we're going to make some cuts and start gluing this stuff up with the uh, smooth on and putting it in the oven again to cure. Now that everything's cut, you kind of get a better idea of what's going on. There was uh, enough left of the, uh, the light piece of wood that I've got left over for the tips. And they also already, I already had a piece of phenolic for the overlay tips here. So there wasn't any excess on the black sheet that I just had. So basically uh, what i'm going to do now is get some clamps ready and i am going to get the epoxy mixed up right after i cut this board in half all right here's something i'm doing different here uh, somebody posted on one of my videos when i glue up the limbs that he's seen some other folks actually take the epoxy before it's mixed put them in a the heat box just to warm them up a little bit i'm not going to let them you know sit in here forever but just for a few minutes to warm them up before i mix it together and it kind of heats it up and makes it smooth a little better so I'm not sure how long it heated up here, but I'm going to I'm gonna let it sit in here for a few minutes and warm up, and then I'm going to try that and see how well this spreads on the riser stuff. Now here's a little tip I saw on Trag Gang. Somebody mentioned they put two pair of gloves on, because I did find myself having to swap out gloves the other day. This way, if you put two on, you can peel one of them off when it gets too messy and move on. So I thought that was pretty good. Uh, tip there just getting prepared here this is how it's going to get blocked up just like this okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my first block i'm going to turn it like this because that's the glue surface right here i'm going to hit each piece with a little bit of sandpaper real quick just to kind of give it a little bit more rough surface for the glue to here too and then we're going to get that epoxy mixed up and get her done that's my glue surface i'm just going to hit it with a piece of 80 80 grit sandpaper and now it's going in next i'm going to go ahead and hit that too I don't know how much that's going to rough up there. Never glued from it before, so I'm not sure what that's going to, how it's going to act. All right, let's get this epoxy going. Golly, this stuff smells like bad tuna. I mean, bad shrimp. Ah. Just mixing up this epoxy the same way I did for the, uh, for the limbs. So you got a good uh, consistency there.
Again, I'm trying to provide coverage for the entire piece of wood on any gaps. lined up here. Set it down. Bottom block. Shut it down. Some plastic wrap on top of that and then I'll clamp it up. So I'm gonna open up the heat box now and uh, put this in it and let it cook for four hours or so as well. All right, so uh, that was a little harder than I thought. So once it's all together, everything's grouping up, it's almost like it'd be better if you had a form again that uh, would hold all those blocks in place, especially when you're doing that many pieces. Cause I had, let's see, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces getting glued together. So they want to slide around. I tried to use the clamps to basically keep it tight so we'll probably have to plan a little bit off when I'm done. I knew there was some excess on some of the stuff, but uh, anyway, that was a little challenging for sure. But uh, if it works out, I think it'll work out uh, nicely. So we will see how that goes. All right, so got my riser. Let it turn the air off out here in the barn. So I knew it wasn't getting as hot as the uh, as the, the limb laminations they did were because I couldn't shut the lid all the way with these clamps, but that's all I had to clamp it up with, and I had to clamp it up to try to keep things lined up. So I'm gonna get these clamps off, get this plastic wrap off, and see if we can clean this up a little bit. Lots of excess glue once again. Feel like that end is pretty good. That end shifted off a little bit, it looks like, but I think we can get that uh, leveled up, no problem. So I guess I'm gonna have to figure out, you know, what I'm gonna do about getting the excess epoxy off. All right, so I'm left with the two limbs that I've got, the riser block. Doesn't look anything like the, uh, the bow yet, but I got tons of gobs of glue so I think what I'm gonna do is put some 40 grit on the belt sander and see if I can use this to, you know, get some of this excess epoxy cleaned up. That's what I'm gonna try to do and see where we go from there. All right, so since I gotta sand this stuff, I'm gonna start with limbs here. Got a lot of this epoxy build up. And so I'm gonna try to just clean up the edges. You can see all that epoxy build up there on both sides of the limb here. So we're gonna turn this thing on and see if that'll clean up how hard it'll be. 40 grit sandpaper is what I got on here. All right, so trying to be careful because I can't lay this flat because of all these you know, bulbs are kind of keeping the cock. So I'm trying to keep, uh, just kind of getting close to it. I'm thinking the rest of this can maybe just, I uh, guess I'll just keep working it, but I'm trying to just be careful because if I lay it on the table, it's not going to be level. And I'm trying to keep a 90 degree surface there because I've got all these, you know, these 
these ridges in the, I don't know if you can see this here, but you know, I got all these high ridges and so it won't lay flat. So just trying to go real easy with it and just uh, do the best I can to get that work down to without, uh, you know, going beyond where I should. So I'm just, again, I'm not trying to shape it right now. I'm just trying to clean up. It's taking it off pretty quick, actually. Definitely use some of this kind of stuff when you're doing this because it's fiberglass and it's fine particles. And even though I've got the hose here, I mean, it's going everywhere. You can kind of see it building up on my table, even though I've got a vacuum running while I'm doing this. You know, I'm going to try the riser real quick. Since I see it, we'll definitely clean this up pretty good. Let me try the riser. I'm going to see how well it'll work on this. So what I did, right or wrong, I don't know. Again, this is my first one, I'm still learning here. But what I did is I got this side sanded down. You can kind of see I've been working on that one. It still isn't smooth, so if I put it from here, it's got a wobble to it, right? Because that epoxy build up. But once I got this pretty close, because I didn't want to, you know, shave in too much as block yet. I know I've got excess and I'm gonna be able to trim it. But what I did is uh, once I got it close, then I ran it through the planer. And now I've got a flat surface, it doesn't wobble at all. I got a good flat surface on there. So I'm happy about that. So what I'm gonna do now, this is too wide, okay? Because this is gonna be the grip, right? So this is too wide. I'm gonna try to keep this part in the center. So I'm gonna measure out how far I need on either side. I'm gonna go ahead and on the table, so I'm gonna trim each side off to get this to the, the depth that I need right here. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Okay, I got my good flat side down. Kind of marked my two spots right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a little bit bigger on either side. And I'm just going to trim this piece off here and then flip it around and trim the other side. Of course, I have to make another mark over there. Go ahead and, go ahead and uh, rip these off on a table saw. And that'll get this block a little bit smaller to where it needs to be. Okay, I've trimmed both sides of it off. And this is still a little bit bigger. This is closer to 4 inches and 3 and 3 quarter. That's okay. I'm just trying to get it down close to size right now. And I'm glad I did that because I screwed up by... I was ready to cut the second piece and I did not have my guide locked in. And so the bar started traveling. I'm like, oh no. So, so I'm trying to err on the side of the caution and do this slow. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my cross cut sled on and I'm just going to cut a little off of each edge to go ahead and get these edges uh, squared up. And then I should just be left with this one side that's got the gunky, the gunkiness going on uh, with the glue build up. All right, got my cross cut sled on here. My blade up, blades barely come high enough to, to cover this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this block, and that's the shallowest part, and I'm basically gonna line it up right to my line, because that's the most shallow spot right there. Come right down on it, like such, and I'm gonna trim that excess off here to make that even here. Okay, that gave me a good finish right there. Okay, I cleaned that edge up. I ran it through the planer one more, or joined it one more time. And I think what I'm going to do, since I have a square edge right here on this guy, I can go ahead and run this down, get that buttered up against my back bar, and that should give me a, a way to plane off the rest of that glue instead of sanding. I think that'll give me a better way to do it. I'm going to go, I got just, I got the blade just barely, barely up. So, I mean, it's just up a fraction and I'm just going to take it slow each pass to uh, make sure I don't cut too much off. All right, I think that was the ticket. This thing cleaned right up all the way around. Yeah, I'm pretty happy now. All the glue's off it, that thing is good. So as far as the limbs go, still gotta work on those on the grinder or on the sander, get the rest of these worked on. So I'm gonna work on getting these limbs down to, to nothing using the same method, just on the sander. And once those are cleaned up, we'll go to the next step. All right, as you can see, I got all the uh, gunk off the limbs, all the excess epoxy. So I got those cleaned up. And you can tell from the shine, there's still a little bit of plastic wrap. It's kind of still stuck, so it's not pure tape. You can kind of see where it's tape here, solid, and then real plastic wrap. And so that's kind of really stuck to it. But I think as long as I can mark on it, I think I'll be okay because that's going to get sanded at the end anyway. So. All right, since I got the limbs cleaned up now and the riser cut almost to size, 
and everything laminated. Tomorrow, I'm hoping I can make a little bit more progress. So I wanna go ahead and get some templates cut. So I'm gonna cut out my, my two riser templates so that tomorrow I can go ahead and size the riser down to the right size with the 21 degree angle right here and get the holes drilled into it. And also we're gonna go ahead and get these limbs cut to size also. So they provide all the templates. So I'm gonna basically uh, tape some parchment paper down, trace over those, make some templates and go from there. All right, so basically I got this tape down the sheet here and I'm just going to trace these outlines and I'm just using the ruler for the uh, straight edge parts and then I'll fill in the rest here all right so I got the stuff I needed traced out on parchment paper and there's the limbs just make sure you pay attention to the design because I'm doing one and a half inch wide limbs not two inch limbs so there are some differences there in the limbs. So just pay attention to those details and just take your time with it when you do it so you don't mess up. All right, back at it, got my templates cut, everything. I'll just show you, give you an idea of what we're looking at here on the limb there. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my riser block to size. So I'm a little too wide and I'm a little too thick. So I'm gonna try to do it where I keep this centered right here. So I gotta take off a little more on this side than that side based on the measurement. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this up and then I'm gonna basically cut the 21 degree angle that's based off of this template. But what I'm thinking at this point, I'm probably not gonna use a template. I'm thinking I might try to set up a jig so I get the exact same angle on both sides on my table saw for that angle there. So what I'm doing, and you don't have to do this, I cut it on a bandsaw for these 21 degree angles, but to make sure I got a straighter cut, I'm just making a, a taper jig right now. And I'm just basically gonna get these positioned at 21 degrees, like such. And that way I can put this along my rail here on the thing, on the table saw, have this thing cut 21 degree angles off on each one. So that's kind of what I'm looking to do here. So just make sure I have the same angle on both sides. That's what, really what I'm doing there. So get this jig put together and then we're gonna hopefully make it happen. All right, got the riser cut. So about ready to drill holes in the riser and then we're gonna go ahead and trace that template onto the limbs and get those cut kind of excited making some progress but i think that jig definitely helped me get even uh 21 degree angles on both of these guys so lines up really good over here with the with the template so i feel good about that okay before we drill the holes though they kind of see the saw blade indentions on here and so what we want to do is make this have a nice it, it is very smooth but we want to get this really nice and and uh, join there for a good flush finish. So they recommend running through a joiner, uh, just one pass on either side. And so I'm gonna do that here. I'm just gonna test fit here. And I've got my joiner just set to where it's just gonna take just a little, little, little tiny bit off just to clean that up. So we're gonna see about doing that. Feel good about that, so we're gonna roll with it. 